This week, our heroes are James Elam and Peter Safar, the physicians who developed cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR. Before CPR, resuscitation techniques were strange and ineffective. In medieval times, the go-to method was flagellation. In the 1800s, doctors recommended tickling the unconscious person's throat with a feather. In the 1950s, people were advised to lift the arms of the afflicted and apply pressure to their chest. Thanks to Elam and Safar, these past methods have been abandoned. James Elam was born in 1918 in Texas. In 1945, he earned his MD from Johns Hopkins University. Elam was interested in respiratory physiology and designed several ventilators. However, since ventilators can only help patients inside the hospital, Elam began developing what would become known as rescue breathing. In 1954, Elam demonstrated that exhaled air contained enough oxygen for resuscitation, but his discovery wouldn't become common knowledge until after he met Peter Safar. Peter Safar was born in 1924 in Vienna, Austria. He began medical school at 19 years old, and by 1954, he led the anesthesiology department at Johns Hopkins. Elam and Safar met in Kansas City in 1956. After Elam explained that exhalation produced an adequate resuscitative gas, Safar suggested and then conducted experiments to prove that mouth-to-mouth breathing could maintain a patient's oxygen levels. The pair perfected the initial steps of CPR, and Safar's experiments proved that their method was vastly superior to existing techniques. Thanks to this compelling evidence, CPR spread quickly. By 1960, it was endorsed by the American Red Cross and the U.S. military. Soon, CPR was taught across the world. Elam and Safar's technique has saved millions of lives and continues to save hundreds of thousands more every year. For that reason, James Elam and Peter Safar are our 37th Heroes of Progress. (laughs) 